So I'm going to go ahead and open the meeting. We've got uh, a quorum here. It is 7.06. Now, I was going to uh, revive the agenda in person, but I thought it might be helpful for you all to have a heads up. And so I added the December 8th minutes because in the past, we have not kept our annual meeting only looking at annual meeting minutes, although we should, but we haven't. We've combined it with regular meetings. So uh, indeed, I did distribute the December 20th, 2021 minutes, but I would like to add the December 8th minutes. And also, um, at least on the agenda, or well, maybe I shouldn't add the dissolution. That would take care of that. <laughs> We don't have enough people to talk about it. Um, and Justin, now, do you have a complaint that I should add under other business? Um, I, I suppose it depends. So Mr. Uh, Whitaker has informed me today, and maybe he can speak to it during public comment, that he thinks that the um, that the meeting was inappropriate, improperly posted. And as such, we can't move forward. Um, maybe we, let's wait until public comment. I don't know if this individual labeled advocate is Mr. Whitaker. He can make his point. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not interested in adding it, but as Stephen is. He, well, if he, he sends you something in writing, then it's an, a, a complaint we have to deal with. He did not. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. He did. This, this was just a, a conversation that I had with Mr. Whitaker this afternoon. Regarding, okay. um, regarding that he might but then hold on, hold on. Steve answered my, um, but hold on one second. Um, Steve answered my email today at 453. So let me just see if this is actually a complaint. Uh, uh, this, uh, I mean, Steve is voicing his complaints in this response to my or to your email. Um, I don't know. I mean, you tell me, Donna. Do you see his response at 4:53 to your meeting agenda? Uh, well, yes, because otherwise, it's it would be good to handle it now. I think at least talk okay, about it. Let's do it. Like, yeah, let, let's do it. Let's go for it. I, okay, so then I'll, I would move. Oh, I have that for other business. Okay. Yep. No, it's not other business. It's questioning whether you have the ability to do have any meeting at all right now because this meeting wasn't properly warned. Uh, oh, I just meeting was warned for Thursday. Stephen, you have not been acknowledged. I cannot even see you on my screen, so you do not have the floor. Um, and you don't have a meeting, Justin. So again, I do it's think a it makes. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know, Donna. You know a lot more about procedure than me. I do understand Steve's point that if like that that his point is that the meeting can't open. I suppose the counterpoint is you can't deal with a um, a complaint unless the meeting is open. So it's not possible. It's a bit of a catch twenty two. Yeah, so. no, no, because we can still do the meeting, and then if indeed were the board to take the complaint and they decide it's invalid, then it's invalid. If they decide it's valid, then they can ultimately decide to vote it at the next meeting to approve it. So to me, that's why it goes under other business. Okay. Yeah, it's fine with me. Okay. So if unless there's any other discussion on the agenda by the board members, the agenda is approved as adjusted. Uh, public comments of something that's not on the agenda. Stephen, uh, you have something you want to say? Well, I just got Oh, my, Kim, sorry. My sound system was not working. I finally got it hooked up. I didn't quite understand. Was the meeting properly warned or wasn't it? Well, as far as I'm concerned, it was. It started in November. Everything was posted. Everything was published in the paper as it was supposed to be. So I, I don't know. That's what the charter requires. And that's well, what happened. Was the And I announced it at all the meetings of the board in November and December, as well as the two city meetings. Well, was there any way for the public to know how to get? Yes, I sent an address, not a phone number, because our phone number doesn't work very well, our Google number. 
What was the? Uh, Can we give them an address to write for any comments? Was the Zoom? Uh, the Zoom is on all the agenda. It's reoccurring. Yes. But as I understand it, the agenda wasn't published with a Zoom until about four o'clock. Well, the website didn't get it published, but that's just one step in the process. So again, Kim, if you want to talk about that, that's under other business. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to figure out where we are tonight. That's all. Well, where, where, where I feel we are is that we went through all the steps. We missed one on the website. And it's also true that I put Thursday instead of Monday, but it doesn't make it invalid. But Donna also, there's no requirement in the charter whatsoever that anything needs to be posted on the website. That's right. But it I is, mean, that's if we're talking about charter requirements, it's just no, not no, but the open meeting law says website. Okay. No. And, and the ads, I mean, in good faith effort, the intention was, and that's my uh, dropping the ball between you and me, but that's not insurmountable. So the Certainly board can decide me, if that's a valid Yeah, we can complaint. decide later. Yeah. And, then, and then the board can decide if it is, then what steps to take. Or they can say it's not a valid complaint. Well, the question is, is it a valid meeting? But uh... I don't know okay, but well, let's just deal with that now, Kim, since uh, you'd like to do that now. Um, so, uh, Stephen, you want to state your complaint? I think you have uh, touched on most of it. I believe that the warnings that were printed in the newspaper assured the interested public that the link and the agenda would be posted on the website a week prior to the meeting. That just didn't happen. It happened at this afternoon, an agenda first put up as a minute, year old minutes. And then finally, when the agenda was put up, it referenced both Thursday and a Monday. And so, and it referenced an annual report from last year, which still isn't up on the website. So you have bungled this beyond recognition. Okay, so I, I, as I stated, I don't agree with that. I don't think it's anything that's insurmountable. It's a matter that indeed there is human error there, but there was lots of other avenues for the public to access this information. And it was early. I got it out early because I knew how hard December was going to be in my life to run around and repost everything. So it got all the physical posting. It got all the ads in the newspaper. And I went post. to the library. I went to the library today and I saw an agenda that referenced a meeting coming up on Thursday. And I had a library staff confirm that meeting isn't until Thursday. So it's December I, 19th. Uh, it, yeah, you're absolutely right. I got the wrong date. But that it means that the December meeting 19. is not legally warned and you cannot conduct a public meeting. Oh, okay, that's how you feel about it. I feel like the, the meeting law allows for human error and the board can adjust for that. It's, it's this decision does the board want to adjust for it? Kim obviously doesn't. Well, I don't know about that, but how many members of the public are there? There's Can only I... Stephen. Come on, let's face it. But well, that isn't that I don't want to get it out there. It was put out there, Kim. It was physically posted. It was advertised. Anyone wait, interested wait, wait. can go on the website and get our names. When I look at the participants, all I see is David Delcor and Orca. So there's no other members of the public. Other That's than right. Stephen. Well, D Dave's here with his paper. So he found us and Stevens. Yeah, okay. Well, I just want to make a record that Apparently, nobody other than those two people saw the meeting. But you're determined to proceed. I, uh... I'm asking the board. If the board does not want to proceed, then we won't. I feel we should just do it. Uh, Justin, sorry, didn't see your hand. Um, I don't think that these are fatal errors in any way. I can only speak from my experience in like court proceedings and with complaints. This is what I would call a ministerial error. So when there are like small, tiny errors that can be very easily chained, like if you um, named, for example, the wrong complainant 
on a criminal complaint, it can very easily be adjusted. At least this is my experience right up until the time of trial, because everybody knows what you're talking about. And so it's really about spirit and not about technicality in this particular instance. The December, I don't think the, the, the Thursday versus Monday thing, I don't think it's particularly close. It's not a close call at all. I don't think that's remotely fatal to this meeting being legitimate. The date was correct. If anyone needed to, um, to ask questions about it, they could have asked what the right one was. These things happen all the time in all sorts of contexts. So I don't think that one's even close. Um, I don't think the website is particularly close, to be honest. This has been a recurring Zoom meeting call. Um, it was, the agenda was eventually posted, posted today, like three or four o'clock, which means people had many hours of notice to click through. It would be one thing if the meeting had started without a link available, although even then, given that it's a Zoom, recurring Zoom link, Maybe it would have been okay, but probably not. But I, I mean, the, my opinion, and I've already told Stephen this, I don't think these are legitimate gripes. I don't think, they, well, they're legitimate gripes. I don't think they impact our ability to have an annual meeting whatsoever. And I, again, I do not think it's a close call. Uh, Doug, how do you feel about it? As far as going ahead and having the meeting that it's valid, even though it wasn't perfectly posted. Let's move ahead. Okay, now uh, we have a complaint, so we really need to have a motion that indeed they don't feel the, the complaint is valid, or you can say that it was an inverted error and that we will take more care with dates and getting things post posted timely. But we would need all four of us to agree because it has to, Four is a quorum. Uh, Justin, your hands up. You have more to say? Yeah, I would. I would move to um, that the complaint, although um, understandable, is not fatal to the uh, legitimacy of the meeting at all, and that we can move forward. So I, I suppose I would move to reject the complaint, although I, okay. I find that language a bit um, harsh. Uh, you could say you just don't disagree with it. How about that? Sure. <laughs> you don't I, find I it valid. That the, that the yeah. board finds the complaint to not be a valid reason to not move forward okay. with the annual meeting. Um, can I have a second on that? A second. A second. Okay. Um, any more discussion about the complaint? Yes, I have my hand up. All right. Uh, just speak up, Kim. You're a little hard to hear. Go ahead. Okay. Well, can we can we get an opinion? What I'm concerned about is this is if if the complaint if it's a violation of state law, that's a little different from the court proceeding that Justin has. On the other hand, I don't think we have a lot of important business to do tonight. And uh, but what we could do is maybe ask. It, it sounds like we, we got to get a legal opinion about some other things. Um, actually, it doesn't take a legal opinion. We've already gotten a legal opinion in the past about open meeting law. And when there is an invert error, the board can say that either that they're going to correct things in the future or that indeed they feel the complaint is not a valid impact on the proceedings. Where I was going with this is since we could have a reconsideration if legal says it's just not valid. I mean, I don't think we have a lot of important business to do tonight, so I'm reluctant to hold it up. But I well, would like, I would like to, if we're going to have to have a motion of reconsideration, I'd like to have a basis for it, a legal basis. I'm sorry, a motion for reconsideration of what? Well, at our next meeting. As well, this is our out, annual meeting. So you, indeed, if we have another annual meeting, you have three weeks of advertising, posting in the paper. You have three locations in both cities that have to be posted so many weeks ahead. So if this is not a valid annual meeting, then you do have a lot of work to do. And I'm hearing everyone but you feeling that, again, that the complaint is not valid to the proceeding or the spirit of the intention. I don't know if it's valid. I wish somebody would. 
Up okay, I'm just going to call a vote and you can vote how you wish. Um, anyone else want to say something besides Kim? All right, uh, all in, uh, I lost Justin visually, um, so speak up. All in favor of passing the motion uh, by Justin, second, second by Doug, that the complaint was not valid to the proceeding. Uh, a hand, aye. Aye. The, okay. the motion was to reject the complaint. That, yes, he, he felt the wording I have, Justin, you may have written it down differently, is that uh, the complaint was not valid to the proceedings. Well, I'll vote aye with the understanding that I was doing so because if there's a legal opinion that says it is invalid, I'll move to reconsider. Okay, so you're voting no. No. I can't, I need a yes or no, I'm sorry. I voted to support the motion. Okay, so that's unanimous. Kim, then, Kim, then you're forfeiting your right to motion to reconsider. Okay, uh, thank you, Kim. We have four votes. Stephen, I can't even find you to turn you off, so. It's not very fair. Oh, you turn me off all the time. No problem. I can't. Uh, okay. Uh, the next thing is we already approved the minutes of the annual meeting that happened last year. I did include them so people could see the history. So those do not have to be approved. The minutes of December 8th were also attached. Any comments about the minutes? or motion to accept them. I have some comments. Kim, was that a motion to accept? No, I do. You asked for comments. Well, OK, we sh let's have a motion first, and then we can have comments. I'm sorry. Okay. Doug, you. Well, right. Donna, shouldn't we have comments about them before the motion, just in case they need Not to be actually. The, the board has to decide something is, I know, we tend to do it backwards, but oh, if. Okay. If indeed the board should have a motion on the table to decide something's worth talking about, but I don't care. We can have comments oh, first. Okay. Go ahead, Kim. Usually you have a motion, then you have amendments. Go ahead, Kim. Well, what, what I wish the minutes would reflect is that, uh, again, I wrote my real objection to the, um, to the document request. And I, I wish they would, minutes would reflect that the, my full objection can be found on the website, which it can be. Okay, so within the December 8th minutes, you want a statement I think you did that last month too. You yeah. want a statement added to look to the website for Kim's additional comments. The minutes are all about motions, Kim, motions. We accept well, this, but, we don't but accept there, this. But there's also a, a brief summary, which is what it's supposed to be. But I just wish there was a reference to the website. I would move, Donna, I would move to uh, adopt Kim's amendment. I editorialized quite a bit in these, those minutes. You, you have far to... more than you should have in minutes. I did not edit. Take it easy. Take it easy, Chair. No, you did really <laughs> well. But you put a lot in there. I, mean, you were, I thought you were very good in, 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 expand, in, in summarizing, but yet substantially put a lot in there, people's comments. No, I thought you were pretty so then thorough. Okay. I, I, would move to, I would move to amend the minutes to, uh, to accept Kim's suggestion that okay. we just add a sentence saying Kim's entire objection is, uh, is can be found posted on the website. So what, Kim's white paper, we're gonna, uh, he, I don't remember him submitting something to that meeting. Of course I think it is. I think it is. If it's not, I can definitely post it. Um, it's hold on. posted now, I looked it up, so. It oh, there it is, public record request appeal, re Kim Cheney. Yeah, I posted it, so it's there. So just make a reference. Yeah, I can do that really easily. I would move that we do that. You want a okay. second, Mikim? Yes. All right. Any, well, it just, you, that's just right now, it's just one of the amendments is to add that about Kim's statement. Any other amendments to the minutes? 
then I would entertain a motion to accept the minutes with that one addition. I would so move. Okay. Kim or Doug, second? I'll second. I don't know what happened. Kim, to second? Okay. All in favor, raise your hand. Okay, all opposed. Fine. Pass. Did, did Doug vote? Yes, he did. He raised his hand. Okay, I couldn't see it. Okay. So next is review of the proposed uh, budget. So I, I distribute that with things taken out. So that 24, 25 were zeroed out. And current FY year showed a potential of some uh, $27,000 going to back to the cities. Well, I don't know if you're ready for comments, but. Sure, go ahead, Kim. I don't think we should vote to, I think that voting the money to, voting the money back to the city is a separate issue. And we, there was a motion to dissolve the corporation, uh, which I think we're gonna take up uh, in January when Justin prepares a plan. And that seems to me we should decide that before deciding what to do with the money. And there was also um, a recommendation by the league that we get independent legal advice to how to do this properly. And there may be some expense involved in that. So I, I would accept the budget, except not the recommendation that um, the money be disbursed back to the city at this point. Well, there was a sort of a straw vote about the 25,000 requested uh, a general support, not a specific vote. So I only had $2,000 left at that point. So I just put the whole 27 going back to either to the cities or to support the impact study. But I can take that out and just leave it at the 25. Well, my preference. If, if we're not going to make any decision at this meeting, that was sort of the general decision at the last meeting. But it wasn't. My position is it should wait till the next meeting when we decide what we're going to do with the authority. Okay. I think that's a reasonable position especially given that we only have four of the six members here and it's such a consequential um, decision. All right, but then, so the existing proposed budget goes back to that, what it was before December 8th meeting. We have to have something that's a draft on our website that says, this is the budget we're considering. It's always being reconsidered and reconsidered until we send it to the city for the ballot sometime prior to January 26th. We've already had, this is my fifth draft. Well, we can, can't we That's just- That's fine um, with me. I'm just wanting to be clear that you're going back to that that was approved before December 8th. Okay. All right. I want to speak on this, Donna. Uh, well, you're not getting a chance. Um, Doug? Uh, flip the thing, uh, muted. Okay, Doug, you, you should be able to talk now. Don't want to talk now. Oh. <laughs> no comment on the budget? No. Ah. Okay. All right. So then we'll just go back to that. The fifth draft instead of the sixth. Okay, fine. Um, I'm still waiting to talk on the budget. Yes, you are. Uh, Justin, do you have anything? I think you said you thought we shouldn't vote on it now, shouldn't change it. So that means the draft. Okay. Uh, Stephen? 
Yeah, I want to point out that uh, in the meeting two meetings ago, where you kept muting me every time I tried to talk, you allowed everyone else to speak, and then you fa you failed to open the public hearing on the budget. So I was denied the opportunity. You have not had a public hearing on this budget, and it's just par for the course of mangling this whole process. So. Uh, I intend to challenge it. I need to know who the service of process agent is to file a legal action, and you need to budget some legal fees. Okay. Anything else? You've got a little more time on your two minutes. Oh, I get more than two minutes when I need it. I'll take that up in court too, but I need to know who your service of process is, Donna, because I'm suing you and the CVPSA, and I need to know who to serve the papers on. Well, I guess you'll end up having to serve it to the chair. That's me right now. Congratulations. Okay. Can I get a restatement of what the motion is? There, there is no motion really. There's oh, a general okay. consensus to leave the budget back where it was before the December 8th discussion. Which means what? It's draft five. Right now, I don't have it buzzing in my head with absolute security, but if you look, oops, where to go, where to go, here it is. Um, that budget had, I think 20 as a consultant and project manager, not thinking about the 25 for the impact study just in general thinking it'd be projects and that was about the only difference it had uh, no money coming from uh, the cities for 23 and 25 uh 24 25 it either had 30 or 50 again the, the draft i have here unfortunately doesn't have a heading whether this is the fifth or fourth i brought this the sixth, which I didn't keep all the different versions, but I'll go back to it. I've labeled them all. So I'll bring up draft five. As I understand it, we're not bound. Uh, no, we have, we have several, we have at least one meeting and we can always create more meetings between now and the 26th of January when it has to be finalized. So the present motion is uh, a budget of zero for the in March of uh, well, before we went to zero from the cities, we had thirty thousand in place from the okay. cities. But now it's zero. And then after December eighth, we went to zero. So it's zero, and then in the out years, it's more. I, 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 I want to support. Me, I want to support zero in in twenty three. I don't know what the proper way to do that is well then that's the december 8th budget was zero the previous one had thirty thousand. and and the 25 whatever's left we're not deciding what to do with that until another meeting okay so if i understand you you would actually like to make a motion and i thought we weren't going to do that that we didn't feel we had you know, our, our full six members with something so important as our budget. But you can make a motion, Kim, and you can see if it's supported. I'm just just trying to clear my mind when you were advocating before that this was not the meeting to make that decision on. Well, I don't know. We have a quorum, I guess. We do have a quorum. It's a matter of what I think Justin and I mentioned earlier, good faith effort, it, whether we would prefer to have all six board members present to make that decision. But you can make a motion and see if it's supported, sir. Well, let's see if anybody makes a motion. <laughs> I don't think anyone but you are as interested. So if you're gonna make a motion or not. Well, there's no motion to approve any budget that I've heard. Okay. Fine. Um, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to go ahead then and move to the next item, which is the ballot warning for the two at-large board members. They're just a, it's a blank. You don't have any names to insert, but we do 
publish that there are two at-large board members. And if someone gets more than 30 write-ins, then they can compete to who has the highest to fill those two slots. I did bring, uh, I can read you the actual warning. Um, if people, it's the same one we've always had. Talks about the legal voters and members of Central Vermont Public Safety Authority are thereby warned to meet at their central polling places on the 1st of March, 2023 from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the same time and place and during the same voting hours, the members, the voting, the voters of the members of the Central Vermont Public Safety Authority will meet for the purpose of electing by Australian ballot the following, two at-large board members to serve a term of three years. And that would be adopted and approved by Central Vermont Public Safety Authority, hopefully on today, December 19th, 2022. And if not, then it would be January 12th. In fact, Justin, when... your hands up. Yeah, I move to accept the uh, the ballot as written. Okay, the warning. Okay. Yeah. For the at large. Thank you. Uh, second to that. Uh, 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 can I voice a problem with it? Well, just a minute, Doug is seconding. Okay, now discussion. Yes, Kim. Well, one of those would be to fill the unexpired term of householder, so it wouldn't be for three years. Oh, you're right. Okay, the wording should be changed. Yes, okay. And the other would be- So here. one is for- he won't have two years left. He'll only he'll have one year left. And the other one is a three year. Right. Okay. With that uh, amendment to the motion acceptable to Justin and Doug? Yes. I forget that they're not all the same. It's my error. Okay. Thank you. Uh, all in favor of the modified to verify that one is a three year, one is a one year. I'll say aye. 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 Okay, passes unanimously. Thank you. So uh, any other business, we're not gonna do the dissolution and we've already dealt with a complaint. Any other business to come before this body? If not, then the next meeting is, Jan oh, Doug. Yeah, that mute thing. Uh. Considering it is the season, I would like to extend to everybody my best wishes for a happy holiday season. Why, thank you, Doug. Thanks, Doug. Same. Yes, happy holidays, everyone. Reciprocal. Thank you all. All right. So then our next meeting is January 12th, Thursday, 7 p.m. Thank you all for attending. I appreciate you taking the time. Good night. Uh, no, I, I'd Good like morning. you to figure out what you're going to do about the missing no public hearing on the budget. Good night. If it's a complaint, Stephen sent We already me. did Carrie. that. We, Hello, no, the goodbye. board already acted on that when Stephen wasn't in a wasn't talking to us. That was way back in November. You can check the minutes. We already talked about that. And it, it it's just as valid, even though I didn't say the words, there was a discussion. And we talked about that at that meeting. It's in the and minute. I'd also like to request that Doug put his comments in writing uh, regarding that he made at the meeting, two meetings prior. Which no, he were doesn't not. have to do that. No, no, sorry. I, no, I was denied access in a timely manner to the recording, so I couldn't transcribe it yeah. to benefit of city council. So it's important that Doug be on the record for what he said at no. the meeting. No, I know you don't want it to be it. heard, Donna, but that's no, no. we're not recording. Steve, I thought I gave oh, a pretty I'm fair. Um, I thought I gave a pretty fair synopsis of Doug's statement at the city council meeting. Don't yes, you? But, but even that, the minutes are not there to, to quote everybody. They're not their purpose, no, and that we have right. recordings. That's an additional aspect. But uh, no, I'm not asking someone to write up their comments from a past meeting. Well, if they're not okay, recording, uh, that's any, the problem. Excuse me, Kim. Are you they weren't called on. Are they recorded? Is there a record? Yes, there's a record. How I've been you... asking for it for a week or two now, and I still don't have it. I'm sorry. The one we got it was just gotten last week, and I believe Justin's already responded to you. 
No, he's not produced the record, and I needed it before. Well, the you have to tell him how you want to pay for it, Stephen. He, I saw his email. Did I not, Justin? Wasn't there not an email? Oh, yeah, I did. I asked if you still wanted that um, the hearing, and if you were requesting a waiver of the costs. Just respond to me, Stephen. We'll figure it out. Also, keep in mind that CBPSA, um, as discussed last year during the record, the public records request um, discussion, is not open Monday to Friday, nine to five for public records requests. And so it's, public records requests are only filled during very limited hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays due to the lack of staffing. So we're going to do our best. But, um, but yeah, that's what we do. That's yeah, actually a violation be. of the law right there. That, you know, the, 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 no, you sorry. No, the town clerks, lots of offices have limited hours. It's totally part of the open meeting law. And likewise, with no staff, no office, we set them aside. We did them part of our organizing meeting. That's done. Out of order, Stephen. All right. I tried to close this meeting. Now I'm officially closing it at 742.